5, our top story, Senator Jackie Rosen and Congressman Mark Amade are drafting plans that would annex thousands of acres into the city of Sparks. Yeah, they are called the Lands Bills. The land in question includes the area just east of the city, north of I-80 and ends north of USA Parkway. In this What Matters to You report, I'm taking a closer look at the forces pushing Sparks to try and expand and the next step forward. This is the land in question, rugged and dry. Vista and especially it looks there. promising to Sparks Mayor Ed Lawson because the remaining land to develop is running out. Right now, the prediction is about four years. Once construction stops, property tax revenues to pay for services like roads, police, and fire crews declines. Stonegate Master Plan community developer Don Padalock explains. The state of Nevada is the last state in the union that has this regressive property tax where the day the, the property hits the tax rolls, it immediately starts to depreciate and will depreciate over the next 50 years. Property tax rates start at 35% of the assessed value and drops 1.5% each year for 50 years, bottoming out between 10 and 12%. The rate never resets, even if the home is sold. So cities with big expenses must grow to pay all the bills. The pro-growth property tax is here to stay because it's written into the state constitution. It would take two votes of the legislature and a vote of the people to make a change. All of these realities are pushing Spark City leaders to look for some way to expand. One option is up. And when we go up, we get more expensive. So we become San Francisco of the Sierra Nevada mountains and I don't want to be San Francisco. The second option is the lands bill. The land east of Sparks is owned by the federal government. It would take the approval of the U.S. Senate and House and a signature from President Biden to sell. Senator Jackie Rosen's team and Congressman Mark Amaday's team are both writing what is called lands bills. Now, they'll be the first draft for Northern Nevadans to look at and discuss for revision and changes before a final draft is presented to lawmakers in Washington, D.C. Everybody's got a strong opinion. About Congressman it. Mark Amaday says he's happy to introduce this bill on one condition. The voice of Reno, Sparks, and Washoe County needs to be largely unified, and he wants to include the voices of environmental and Native American groups. So it's a challenge, and it takes a lot of work. Um, until the Fallon uh, expansion for the Navy out there, we hadn't passed the lands bill since Harry Reid was in the Senate. They're hard things to do. Congressman Amade says he's listening to area leaders about what they want and vows to do his best to bring their combined vision to Washington, D.C. as soon as reasonably possible. And Senator Jackie Rosen released a statement. It reads, my office is working closely with stakeholders to put together a lands bill that can meet the needs of Washoe County and the growing Reno Sparks community while also balancing conservation and existing public land uses and delivering for our tribal communities. I look forward to sharing a discussion draft of this legislation soon. And the lands bills should be available to the public in the coming days or weeks. I'll let you know about that right here on Colo News Now. Until then, I'll keep focusing on all angles of this developing story to find the latest statements about the lands bill from the city of Reno, Washoe County leader, and the city of Sparks. Go to colotv.com and click on this online report.